Hi, I'm Brandon number two, and welcome to Lower Class. <laughs> <laughs> So today we have Dan. Y'all seen Dan? Yep. Um, Dan's Hoopy. Give him a little info about your truck. It's a 96. It was a V6. Then changed to a TBI 350. It's got a 700 R4. And by TBI, he means it was a TBI. Now it's got a carburetor on it. Yeah, it's got a carburetor now. Uh, drives it every day. Until when? Until... Last week? Yes, last week. The rear end... The nut on the pinion bolt yep. came loose, so I tightened it up thinking, all right, might have fixed it. Drove it about 40 miles and the rear end started making noise, so now we're fitting to put a rear end in it and we're going to put a step side bed on it. Step side bed and uh, truck's getting a different color, a color change. Um, so w w the bed's in the shop, step side bed, we've already uh, sprayed it like hot rod flat black. And because you can see the back of the cab, when you put a step side bed on, we're gonna go ahead and spray the back of the cab. And then uh, here in the next few weeks, months, years, whenever we get to it, we'll prime the cab. Uh, and the, the, you know, the front end of the truck, but. We ain't in a big hurry, but yeah. we definitely need to get the rear end. Yeah, and the bed, the reason we're changing the bed is the first day of school, today's actually the last day of school for the school year. But the first day of school for this past year, Dan got rear-ended in school traffic, taking his kid to school, and bent the tailgate and buckled both bedsides, and been driving it for an entire school year like this. Actually, it ain't his fault. The bed's been sitting in my yard for like three months, and we finally got around to getting the body work done, getting it sprayed, and getting to put it on. But uh, the rear-end situation kind of just popped up. We had already started on the bed, and then the rear-end went out. We've already put a transmission in this truck, uh, and that's the original motor that was in the truck when we picked it up from Allen, right? Yeah, Allen from Savannah. Um, we picked it up from him. He had already put the motor and transmission in and that, that's it, he had stopped. So we, we wired it, plumbed it, done all that stuff and made everything work and been driving it for, how long you had the truck? A year and a half now? Yeah, about a year and a half. Been driving the wheels off of it. Driving it every day. So, so my daughter took my other truck. Yeah. Kid turns, that is. kid turned 16, took the four wheel drive with the 24 by 14s on it and won't give it back to him, so. Um, all right, we're finna pull this thing in, start getting the bed off and uh, all that good stuff and go from there. Oh, also the rear end that we have is in a complete housing and this truck has a three link on the back. So we ordered new tabs for it and we basically have to start over on the back as far as the tabs. So we're gonna get the rear end under there centered, weld all the tabs on, yada, yada, yada. We'll show you that. Bye, Felicia. Hey, look, just out right here. All right, so we've got a new rear end right here. About to pull this old one out. Um, as he said earlier, the pinion nut backed off on it the other day. Put on lift, tightened it up. Drove it like 40, 50 miles, and it went to making all kind of racket. Um, the other day, whenever he tightened the pinion nut, he pulled the rear cover off, and there was already teeth marks in the carrier. So, knew it was only a matter of time. But 
Uh, our buddy Doug sold him this bed. Uh, he had bought a wreck truck that got hit in the front, had a good bed, and then he ended up having to buy the rear end out of it too. So the bed and the rear end come out of the same truck. And KK helped us get the old bed off just a minute ago. We sit it in the yard. Probably all going to take turns beating the crap out of it this weekend. Um, when we yeah, when we get frustrated, we'll just go out there with a hammer and hit or do whatever we need to do. But we're going to go ahead and get started right here, pull this rear end out. Uh, we did wash the frame off. And probably ain't going to film all this because it's really boring. But uh, once we start putting it back together where we have to do some measuring and stuff, we'll figure it out and film it for you and let you know what's going on. Swing that heavy one, girl. Come here, dogs, before she hits y'all. <laughs> you didn't even dent it. No, it's not. Yes, Junior, come here. Where's the other one? Hit it with that one. Where's the other one? Hit it with that one. That thing is gonna smack you. Let me get the other one. Can we shoot it? No. That big old hammer, that's all you done? It's cracked the body fell away up at the body line, huh? Hit it. Was there a body that one out? Yeah. Go ahead. Hmm. Swing that one. Okay. Here, Dan, film that right there. I'll swing that one. Go ahead. You did it right there. Let me see what you can do with that one. That, it hurts. All right, now get the not soft spot. Nice. <laughs> uh. Oh, it moved. All right, Dan, your turn. It's your bed. I want the other side. Right. This is what I think about the lady <laughs> that hit me. Hey, he needed the gas door. Good job. <laughs> All right, hang on. Hang on. All right, so we got one bolt right here that just absolutely, hang on, absolutely refuses to come out. So Dan's going to use the plasma cutter for the first time. All right, let me show you this little trick right here. You got to pull this back and then squeeze it. Oh, just faint. Oh, okay. There you go. All right. Oh, it won't fit, will it? Oh, we're going to make it fit. Ooh, I'm about to get burnt up. I know. It's all fun and games when you're watching me do that, get yes, burnt up. it is. <laughs> all right, what you looking like? It looks like ass. Oh, you didn't cut all the way through. Hold on. I don't think your ground's real good. Let me fix that for you. now. All right, take two. Hold on, hold on. This is all just holding the rear in, and he's done forgot that once he blows through the other one, that it's gonna fall. But carry on. Don't fall. Carry on. No, I'm sorry, the e brake still hooked up, but we're about to cut that in two with a plasma too. So. We use frame for you guys around here. Hey, hey, hey. Alright, take that hammer and hit it. I don't think this is good on the way. You badass, you. It don't matter, does it? Hammer fixes everything. Feel better yet? Got a lot of grip. Don't completely destroy it. We gotta let Chandler and Dawson have some licks. Ah. Woo! That could have been a toe. That was the weakest swing I've ever seen in my life. The hammer weighs more than her. Hit that thing. Hey. <laughs> 
Dawson, did you teach her how to swing? Hey, y'all should probably start her out with that four pound sledge. Oh. That was sure was a lot of body filler on this bed, though. Look uh, okay, at it's all falling off in chunks. All right, let's go eat tamales. What are we sitting down for? All right, go ahead, Brown. Say bless. Dear person, grace to heavenly Father, we thank you for all your blessings, Father. We ask you to bless this food to our body and our body your service in Jesus' name. We pray. Amen. 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 Oh, that was a solid leg there. Did you hear that one? Yeah, it's me. It's, it's in the inner wall now. <laughs> Can't have nothing nice for kids. Buckle this whole bed in half. Bet. Bet. I put 20 on it. I it got another 20. It, it didn't buckle. I give you $100 if you do. Uh, nope, it ain't gonna buckle. <laughs> you only hit it twice. Keep hitting it. Maybe the fourth time is a storm. Oh, you're getting closer. Oh, it isn't moving. All right, that's four. That's four. All right, go ahead. Now take some anger out on the side. I ain't got no anger. I know you got some build up, pin up. I ain't got no idea. All right, so uh, Chandler showed up. Dawson's over on the other side of him. They're trying to get this back wall prepped uh, so we can spray it flat black uh, before we put the bed on. We're going to try to get that ready to paint tonight. Uh, spray it tonight. We got all night. It's Friday, though. All right. So that's got to be sprayed and the tailgate, the tailgate's over there. It's already body work, it's already shaved, it's got to be sprayed. And then me and Dan are putting, and Brandon are putting the uh, lower link bar back on. We had a bolt seized up in the uh, sleeve and we uh, we replaced the bush in the sleeve. Uh, Dawson actually had an extra one over there. He ordered for his Tacoma, but we didn't need it. He came in clutch and didn't even know it. The name from the previous video. Yeah, yeah, the, the Back job from the video, the last one. All right, we're gonna get this hung and then it's time to get the rear and under the rear and get it centered up. Start getting ready to put some tabs on that guy. All right, so what time is it? And, uh, just got the, all the tabs loaded out on the rear end. And, yep, 100%. And that's ready to, we're gonna pull the cover off in the morning, put new wheel seals in it, put new brakes on it, and wheel bearings if it needs them. Check the center section out real good, make sure everything's still good with that. Truck come out of was running, driving truck got wrecked, so it should be good. And it's ready to go back up under. What'd you learn? Um, Nothing. Uh, they got the back of the cab right here ready to uh, prime. They fish and spray it and the tailgate. Yep. And then when we get here in the morning, that'll be dry and it'll be ready to put back together. So, oh yeah, we got to redo the shocks because 
quite and frankly. A, and a two foot tall notch cover there. Yeah, because I, I hate this. And it's like way high, so yeah. We're gonna cut that off. I don't care if Dan says yes or no, we're still gonna do it. And put some different shot set up on this thing because I hate that right there. Those professional saw horses. <laughs> Good night. Good night. Good night. Good morning. Dawson's not paying attention. No, no. All right, so we're back again. Here's Brandon number two. Dan, Dawson's on the way. He had to stop and get some gas. Uh, and Chandler had to go detail the car. Um, this morning, I got this brake set up right here. If y'all uh, remember the flat black 8898 I done a couple months ago where we narrowed the rear end, took some 24 by 12s. We also done a little shop disc brake kit. Uh, this is the brakes that was on his rear end. He had just rebuilt all of it. Um, so he told me I could have that. Uh, and these brakes are about shot on this rear end. So we're going to pull that whole backing plate off, put this on there. We took the cover off last night and let it drain. And if it's flip it over, get the axles out so that we can change these, put new wheel seals in it. And slam it back together and get it up under here. And Dan gets the spray paint. Did you get spray paint? Nope. I just thought about that. <laughs> oh, back to rally as we go. All right. Uh, seat clips are out. Axles are out. Take these brake lines. We're going to reuse the factory brake lines. And we're taking these backing plates off because these shoes are looking a little rough. We're going to put some wheel seals in it because they were clearly leaking. And you'll have a new rear end. All right, precision part number 4762 in. New wheel seal. Already got that one changed. You get the brakes now? No. I got a piece out. Oh, you got a piece out. All right, so. Uh, new brakes. Here you go, hold that. Yay. Good, good job. job. Go me. <clears throat> I'm sure some Facebook mechanic will have something to say about that method. Oh, I'm sorry, wait, this ain't Facebook no more, this is YouTube. YouTube, it's even better. Probably something wrong with what nah, your method. That'll be fine. It's okay. I ain't getting paid for this job anyway. I love you, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the rear end's in. Me and Dawson and Dan just got that in. Uh, he went to put the straps on the universal joints, and the, whole, the, the holes are dirty and got crap all in them. So Dan just left to go get a tap to run through that. And I'm about to finally, that's what I've been looking forward to the most. Take these horrible, horrible things. Yes, them. these atrocious shock brackets that stick up a foot above the notch. I hate them. Hate them. And he's actually going to have... And Brandon came back with presents. He came back with space blankets, so we don't scratch up Dan's new primer paint job. And he's actually going to have... Bur brakes. Yeah, um, so this truck's only had one brake on the back, and I don't even know if it was any good. I had a plug right here since he's had the truck. Um, it's actually got new brakes and brake lines. And fluid has already started coming out of the bleeder screws from gravity feeding. The world won't stand to have rear brakes. Did you get spray paint? Yes, I did. Okay. <laughs> we, don't need it. we don't need it right now. We're about, we about to cut these off first. But two cans. Two cans. I should just spray the whole truck with it. You will do it. Well, I got we didn't put a sticker on it. Flat, I got gloss. So. We got enough stickers on this truck already. All right, I'm about to get dirty. It's going to land on your toes. Wow, maybe I got some more cutting to do if that didn't move it. Yeah, we cut all the way around, but... Take two. One more time.
ceiling come off. Joey! Y'all put a well on that dude. No. Proud of y'all. Cause it's not coming loose. No. One more time. Hold on, you gotta do the arms. Take three. Come on. Oh, oh, yeah. Hey. It almost got me. Hey, it came off. Everything's welded. We got those brackets cut off. Everything's ground down. Dan just finished that. Brandon done the first one. Dan done the second one. We went to town, got some bolts for the shocks. And then we got these nifty little studs that Dawson had bought for something. And probably not going to use it. We didn't use them. Well, we're going to use them. Just not going to use them on your truck. Not on my truck. Oh, and also, also he had these nice little tabs that he bought. For my truck, but we're going to use them for my <laughs> Dan's bill with Dawson is about $200 today. Um, all right, so we're gonna weld some tabs right in here, weld the stud offside the frame, and put some shocks here instead of those ridiculously long ones that it had on it. Get away from me, cup. And uh, yeah, he'll have shocks again. And three inches of lift. <laughs> <laughs> all right, figure this thing so out. We got shocks on this thing, um, this part number. 37281, these are for the rear of a 04 Kia Sorento. Yeah. They also work really good on a 99 to 2013 Silverado for a rear drop shot. Uh, dead series. All right, um, so they were like 12 and a quarter inches collapsed and whatever they are extended. Hey, look at that thing now. You ain't gotta pull that over. Bottoms out the notch, shot's perfect. All right, see it in action. That still gets all the lift. Yes. I think it might actually get more lift now than it did. Uh, I'm gonna put some gear on this thing and put the wheels back on. This part's done. Uh, we gotta cut the new bed, uh, get it on, and uh, I think we'll be about be done with this project. And it's only 1.30 on a Saturday. What are we going to do for the rest of the weekend? Sleep. Eat tacos. Yeah, eat some tacos. Very nice. Or stick your tongue out or something. Oh, you want a video of it? I videoed everybody else. Might as well video you. See if I see me like a chick or something. Yeah. You almost hit yourself in the knee somehow. No. Come on with it. Hit yeah. it at the top. Yeah, hit it at the top. Then go straight back up. He's going to miss it and get through my side of my head. Hey, we might can fix this bed. <laughs> Dan, I think this bed's fixable. That. He straightened the front panel out. I think it's fixable. <laughs> it's a little pretty even. All right, let me get one good swing so I can do this collage of everybody swinging at it. Hola. <laughs> <laughs> 
Fox came to see us today. We got this bed turnover with some blankets. Got it notched out for the gas tank and um, gas tank, and then the wishbone's gonna be on this side. Now we got to put it on the truck and trim the bed out for the, around the wishbone as we lay the truck out, and we'll be done. For now, done. Now we got to turn this bed back over without skinning it. That's gonna be the fun part. Well, sometimes we're idiots and we do stuff and don't think about it. We mounted the shock to the outside of the frame. We cleared fine on the fleet side. We had to wedge it in there. I take the sharpie mark around it, cut a little notch in it. And then it should go right back on. There you Are you upset, Dan? I just want to own there where I can drive it home. Let's watch. Is the camera this as big as I am? Yeah. <laughs> stuck it in the gas door. All right, hit it again. You got to get a real good clip. Swing real hard. It's as big as I am. This is hard as I swing it. Go get her the little hammer. Just, just keep doing it until you feel better. Okay. Oh, I took two leaves. It's someone's face. How good is this, Julie? Be careful because it's going to bounce back. Yeah, it's going to bounce back. Sling that sledgehammer. She just threw it. Hey, I hit it on the top of the rail. Down. Yeah, like that. Swing real hard. I right, keep doing. Oh, oh, she hit herself in the knee. Almost at kneecap. I got. <laughs> Feel better. Damn, she hit me. All right, so we went to put the bed on. And we had to do some notching uh, around for the shop. We didn't take into account of that, so I just took my whole saw, popped the hole, and come down with some lines there, made it where uh, it cleared. Um, it was actually clearing a little more than that, and then when we tightened all the bolts down, it pulled down a little tighter, but uh, it's clearing, so we're good there. We also had to come in, bend these bed braces out a little bit, clear the bag on both sides. Uh, the other bed was already like that, but this one wasn't. And uh, Dan just wanted to get some of the lug nuts. He stripped one of them out, the head of it, and wanted to change them. So he's gone to the park store to get new lug nuts. And we got the tail light wiring harness in. We're getting closer. Hey, do y'all feel better yet? No. You don't want none of the smoke, dog, baby. Oh.
Don't crack it. Oh, God, I'm water. Thought we were done. Nope. Will Cylinder decided to leave the chat. <laughs> Screw you, Will Cylinder. We're ready to go riding. Now it's going to be dark. All right, y'all. So here's what we ended up with. We got the bed on the truck. Had to trim this uh, fender lift just a little bit. Uh, the tire was kind of close on this side. The other side was good. It's uh, pretty close, but um, showed you where we notched for the uh, shocks. And we had to cut out a little bit right here for the wishbone. It's still touching just a little bit, but he don't want to go no farther forward. Um, it only touches right when it lays out. He don't want to go no farther forward because the farther forward goes, if he does a traditional style notch cover on this, it's going to have to go way up there. Um, so we're going to stop right there. And uh, we're about done with this guy. He's trying to find some bolts for the tag now. Uh, Dawson just resprayed the tailgate because we didn't like the way it turned out. Um, still don't like it, but it is what it is at this point and uh get the tag on it and uh then clean up shop we'll be done is that a pickle So once again, we're idiots and uh, we notched it for the shot and then we laid it out in the rear and hit it. So we had to make a bigger notch. Yeah. So we're done for the fifth time now, I think. I think, we've been, I think we finished it like five times now. And we keep having to pull it in and yeah.